Hello, and welcome to this video where I'll try to compare some of the intraoral scanners. If you're in the market for an intraoral scanner, odds are you'll be looking at one of these. Itero from the USA, Medit from South Korea, 3Shea from Denmark, Densplicerona from the US and Germany, and Planmeca from Finland. I'll try to compare those scanners based on hardware quality, hardware components, software quality, workflow capabilities, and cost. The Itero has pretty good hardware quality. It uses parallel confocal imaging with red laser for its scanner. And some models even have near-infrared imaging for detecting caries. As far as their portfolio is concerned, they're pretty limited to only scanners, different versions of the scanners, but scanners nonetheless. They come with disposable tips that you have to buy from Itero, which makes it a little inconvenient since you can't sterilize them. For software quality, it's pretty good. Clean and clear, uh, scanning and exporting is pretty easy. Perhaps the biggest advantage is its integration with Align Technologies and Invisalign. Orthodontic heavy practices will find great use of the outcome simulator. However, you can still use the Itero to scan and send for pretty much any other restoration you might need. However, if in-house fabrication is what you're looking for, you'll have to buy third-party CAD software, third-party CAM software, and third-party post-processing units. Full disclosure, for cost, I use ChatGPT to figure them out, so I know this cost might not be completely up-to-date, but I hope it gives us a pretty good idea of the differences in cost. Oh, well, here are all my ratings, and again, it's important to note that these are just my ideas on those scanners but as you can see it's a pretty specialized scanner i think it does a really good job with ortho practices um, but that's really what it does let's move on to the medit scanner found that medit does a pretty good job with scanning it uses 3d in motion video technology for its scanner and comes in various models that go all the way from a wired connection to a wireless connection there are many technical differences between those scanners that you'll find on their website the way the Medit scanner is supplied is through a wand and a laptop, which might be a little inconvenient for some people's setups. Their software is pretty impressive. It's a, got a very unique feature where you can install different apps and make the software do different things. And this way it can evolve and have multiple other purposes that can have infinite possibilities. So I think it's a pretty impressive and pretty unique feature. Pretty easy to do a scan and send workflow if that's what you're looking for. But if in-house fabrication is what you're looking for, you'll be covered for the scanner and for the software, but you'll have to buy a third-party mill and a third-party post-processing unit. For the cost, again, I asked ChatGPT what the cost should be, and that's what I got. And I know it's only for 2021 and it might not be up to date, but hopefully it'll give us a good idea of the cost. Let's round up all the different attributes. Again, this is very subjective. It's just my opinion on those, but I do think that Medit has a lot to offer. Um, it is lacking in some areas, but I think it's got a lot of potential. Let's move on to our third option here, which are Trio scanners from 3Shape. Trios 5 recently came out, so most people might have a Trios 4 or even a Trios 3. I can find the Trio scanners use confocal microscopy with LED lighting. As far as their portfolio, they only have a scanner, and it's provided, like the Medit, as a scanner wand and a laptop. 3Shape Unite is the software you get that is included with the scanner. It's a pretty good software, very easy to follow, and has a lot of different options to do single crowns, chair side. Also sell the very famous 3Shape Design Studio, which is a very robust design software. Um, it is a separate purchase, though. Trio scanners work really well for scanning and sending to labs. If chair side fabrication is what you're looking for, then you're looking to get a third party cam unit and a third party processing unit. Cost, again, I asked ChatGPT and I know it's not up to date and this cost might not be accurate, but I hope it gives us a pretty good idea of the cost differences. Again, let's round up all the different attributes. Very excellent quality for three shape. It does lack in the area of cost and the different components it provides. Now let's move on to our fourth scanner, the Densply Serona Prime Scan. It uses active triangulation with strip light projection and optical microscopy. Their hardware components are simply unmatched. They have an acquisition and design unit, a chair side milling unit and post processing unit, lab milling units, and even printers. The Ceric software comes included with the scanner and this software is really made to make same-day chair side crowns. It is probably the best at doing this. 
We do offer a lab software called Ceric InLab as a separate purchase, which is a pretty robust software, works pretty well with Ceric, but um, it can also work with any other um, file. It is not as robust as Three Shapes, though. Very to popular belief, you could still export your scans with a Ceric Prime Scan to an outside lab for a scan and send workflow. What you can't do is export your design or use some other design from a different scanner to mill in their milling units or post processing units. You could if you have in lab, which is a little loophole, but it's generally not convenient. For chair side fabrication, Densply Serona's Prime units are definitely the kings of that. They have all the different things you'll need for all the different stages of chair side fabrication. According to ChatGPT, this is the cost that was in 2021, so I know it might be different now, and I know this might not be very accurate, but I hope it gives us an idea of the cost relative to other scanners. So when you look at the different factors compared to each other, you'll see they're pretty good scanners. The real downside here is cost, really. Let's take a look at our final scanner, which is the Plan Mecha Emerald S scanner, which uses the optical coherence tomography with confocal microscopy with blue laser, which does a pretty good job, but not to the level of prime scan or three shape. Plan Mecha has a pretty good roster of components. They have a design and acquisition station, they have chair side milling, and they have a lab mill, but they do lack an oven, so you still have to buy a third party oven. The software that's included with the scanner is the Plan Mecha PlanCAD Easy, which is a decent software that might not be as flashy as Densply Serona's, but it's still clean nonetheless. You can also make a separate purchase to buy Romexis, which is their design software that is pretty robust and is very capable. So just like all the other scanners, you can use them easily for a scan and send workflow. And in many instances, you can also use a different scanner to mill things on their mills. It's not as straightforward as that it seems, but it is possible. For chair side fabrication, you'll be covered for acquisition, the CAD software, and even the mill. You will still have to buy a third party post-processing unit or an oven. For cost, again, I asked ChatGPT, and I know this might not be up to date and it might not be completely accurate, but I'm hoping this cost would give us a good idea of its comparison to other scanners. Look at the scanner as a whole, you'll find that it's a pretty well-rounded scanner. It does have some deficiencies here and there, but it does do most things pretty good. Now let's compare all the different scanners to each other if we look at them as a whole. Again, not to sound redundant, but this is my opinion, so it's really subjective. Take your time and read all the different advantages, disadvantages, and indications I've put up here on the screen, but to make life easier for you, I'll summarize by saying Itero is really the orthodontist's machine. Medit is a pretty low-cost scanner that has a big potential to upgrade its software. Three Shape is an amazing scanner that has high quality. It does have disadvantages when it comes to the different hardware components it has by its side. The Densply Serona Prime Scan is a pretty good machine. It does exceptionally well with chair side restorations. It does have a very high cost associated with it though. And Mecca provides a lot of what Densply Serona has to offer at a lower price point. It is a well-rounded scanner all round. There is one more thing I wanted to discuss, which is the third party milling units and third party ovens that you might be looking into if you're buying one of those systems that don't offer them as part of their portfolio. Let's start with the third-party cam units. If you look at those cam units, you'll see that most of them are able to do wet milling, and that is what is needed if you're looking at milling lithium disilicate. However, for zirconia, the options are quite limited. This is a problem not only for the mills, but also for the furnaces. The fastest third-party oven that can process zirconia is probably the CS6 from Ivoclar. The CS6 can fire zirconia in as little as 22 minutes, which is comparable to what the Speedfire can do at 18 to 20 minutes. Of course, the Speedfire is proprietary to Densply Serona and will only process crowns that are within the architecture of Densply Serona CERIC machines. The whole reason we're talking about this is because there's definitely potential for chair side restorations, whether it's clinic efficiency, patient comfort, communication, accuracy, and, probably most importantly, cost efficiency. 
Turning a multi-step 12-day workflow to a chair side single day workflow is definitely well worth it for the patient. This also negates some of the lab costs associated with sending the crowns to the lab. Conventional wisdom would tell you to only have CAD CAM crowns made on cases with either an equigingival or a supergingival margin. I found, however, that if I can see the margin visually, I can scan it and create a margin that's visually and tactilely sealed. Moisture control is very important though, because any moisture on the tooth would create refraction of light and distort the final image picked up by the scanner. And of course, it's important to know what kind of material you're using and make sure you have adequate clearance for that material. Your typical workflow for a chair side restoration is first making sure you've met the indications, then prepping and scanning, and followed by making the crown and cementing it. If time does not allow to have it all done in one day, you could also do a two appointment workflow. In this case, after going through the first two steps, you're going to go ahead and mill a temporary crown while making sure your scan is completely adequate for a final restoration. After the patient leaves, you can make the crown on your own time and have it ready for their return on the second appointment. That is it for this video. We hope it was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.